that kills my car, man. Look at my beautiful stereo, which didn't work. Well, at least the club lock is still on it. This is a shocker. What do you have to say about this, Pat? Oh, I'm disgusted. Look at the damage they've done unnecessarily. I mean, doesn't anybody know how to pull out a stereo system without causing this sort of damage? That Shit. sort of damage. They just wrenched it out, like with a crowbar or something. What did they do to the door? This is just stupid. Well, they'd do that and then smash the window and unlock it? That's pathetic, huh? How desperate. Junkies, mate. Junkies oh, look, there's dust everywhere. They, oh, wow, look, they've got good fingerprint scrap here. Yeah, they've dusted the whole car. So they've got to get someone now. Well, the next phase of my life has started where I have to take my insurance papers to my mum to find out if I've got insurance because I don't think I've got insurance oh, actually I do think I've got insurance and if insurance does cover it then I can get a new CD player which the last one didn't work anyway so I'm just gonna take my keys here and sit in the driver's seat and basically get a Vigo and my mum's gonna say yes you've got insurance son you can get a new CD player or she's gonna say no you don't have insurance you have to waste 2,000 bucks fixing everything that got broken. Look at that, that's a bloody shame it is. I'm just going to go talk to my mum at Vigo and hopefully she'll say I've got insurance. If I do have insurance, I can get a new CD player that works. I mean, the way they did it, it's so pathetic, man. Like, they, they went through for the lock, right? Wait, <laughs> I'm turning while filming. But this is going to be really good on TV. Anyway, yeah, they went for the lock. They, tr they probably, I don't know, shoved the screwdriver in the lock. And that didn't work, so they decided to smash the window. Why not smash the window first? You know, save the trouble. I mean, if I can get it all on the insurance... Ah! Hello again. If I can get it all on the insurance, I can get a new CD player, which that's, that'd be good, because my other one didn't work, didn't take CDs. And I've got a number of CDs I want to listen to, which I haven't heard in a long time, so if that works, I'll be laughing my head off. Another thing, um, also, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, they broke my heating system too. I mean, the heat worked. That's the only good thing that worked in this car was the heating, you know. Cold nights, you turn on the heat, beautiful. Warms up in no time. But the cooling system didn't work, so hopefully I can get some of that going too. Insurance will probably cover that. I'll get some cooling system going. Yeah, so, uh, things happen, you know. Trying to make try to make some a life for yourself, trying to get a good job, get a car. All to find out that, hey, car's broken into him in the middle of Fairfield talking and people looking at me everywhere look saying what's this idiot filming for who cares they want to remember me remember me in the future anyway I'm almost at Vigo now I'm just gonna go to Vigo and find out if I can get car insurance because I don't think I do. Ugh, listen to that glass I don't think I've got car insurance I think I know I've got car insurance I hope I've got car insurance I don't know what car insurance is or if it's really worth it I'm just gonna go to Vigo now and talk to my mom she's gonna tell me hey you got insurance you can get a new CD player hopefully that's what she'll say Hopefully. Okay, I'm gonna turn before this bus hits me. Ah! Alright, so here I am coming to Vigo. Hello! Is my mum here? No. I need to talk to you. Basically, I'm gonna find out in the next five seconds if I can get car insurance because if I do have car insurance, I can get a new CD player. And that's what I want. So I've got the papers here and I talk to my mum, find out if she says, yeah, you got insurance. You can get a new CD player. No, no, listen to you, Mom. She's at the door now. I hope I've got insurance. I've got tons of CDs I want to listen to, but if I don't have insurance, I have to pay out of my own money. Doll money or work money or whatever. Te aviso que la insurance tenés que pagar para abrir la insurance. There you go. $350 at least. Is it worth it? Yes, I'm going to get a CD player and they're going to fix everything. How much is it? Uh, they wrecked everything, ma. Look at this here. You want to look at it? Yeah. Come look outside. We're going to look outside. Oh, shit. That's mom's reaction to the car. Oh, shit. That's mom's reaction to the car. That's mom's reaction. Spanish and English. Look at that, huh? Yeah, get in the way. Nadie vio nada, nadie. Well, alguien lo vio porque... Alguien lo vio porque lo denunciaron. Y el, la policía no... Sorry. La policía um, llamaron a la, a la... La gente llamó a la policía que me, me dan el todo. Pero... 
Y yeah, ellos pagaron el todo. Se por... sacaron los fines. ¿eh? Viste, tratando de, de, de abrirlo por ahí y no pudieron entonces romper la Pero ventana. Lo acá también, ¿eh? So it's pretty bad. Eso es las drogas. Eso yeah. es las drogas, Fabián Fris. No andaba, anyway. Sí, dirían, güey, eso no es sano. Si puedo dar el insurance, saqué el nuevo CD player. ¿Acá no trataron también? Yeah, me trataron ahí. Look at that, man. That wasn't like that. Ah. Sí, this is worth 350 bucks. Oh, yeah, for sure. Fíjate de otro lado. Mira, eso, that's not less than 400 bucks for that thing. Fíjate del otro lado, si cambian la puerta. Está enojado, ¿no? Ah, apparently it ends up being about a thousand bucks in damage, so, you know. Yes. To pay 350 for a car that's got a thousand bucks in damage, and it's not too bad. So. Stay tuned for more. After uh, talking to my mum, apparently I've got to go to some uh, basically dealers and ask for quotes to see how much the damage is going to cost. And then my insurance is going to fix the damage according to the cheapest cost. Mongrel bastards, they want the cheapest cost, not the most expensive. So I'm here now to buy some completer for Jenny, which is like a hot dog with everything on it. I'll get back to you. Okay, more low down. Uh, apparently, I've got to go to Jenny's house now because Monica's been waiting there all morning and I don't think I can do that because I've got to go to uh, two dealers to ask for the quotes. And like I was saying, they're going to quote me as to how much damage the car is worth and the one that gives a cheaper quote, that's how much insurance is going to pay for the car to be fixed. So it's, it is really pathetic because I really need more time to do everything. Number one, this is my day off work because basically the trains were on strike and I didn't want to take a $20 trip by bus to the city. It sucks. I'm all right. I hate that. Um, and now I get the red lights again. Far out, man. It's not my day today. Arr! Anyway, part three of this ongoing history of my broken car. I think I'll take my glasses off. I look better without the glasses. We're actually going to Jenny's house now and she had a reaction herself. Yes. What was your opinion on this? I think it sucks. And my blinkers don't work, so I have to stick my arm out if I want to turn right. Because the idiot, they break everything. It sucks, doesn't it? So now we're going to go just to Jenny's house and basically pick up Monica. And we're all going to go to a trip to some dealers, some smash repairs actually, where they're going to tell us how much this damage is going to cost. And basically, like I said before, uh, the insurance is going to go with the cheapest one that says the price. So some guy says, oh, it's going to cost a thousand bucks to fix. And some guy goes, oh, it's going to only cost 500 bucks. The insurance is going to go for the 500 bucks for me to fix everything. I mean, they wrecked my stereo. They, took, they pulled out my CD, which didn't work, like I said. They wrecked my heater. That works. My blinkers don't work. My lights don't work. My door is stuffed. I mean, basically, what can I say? What can you say, Jen? We're now going to see Monica's reaction to when she sees my car, as well as her mum's and her dad's if they're here. So basically, um, just stay, stay tuned and you're going to see what happens when other people find out that my car has gone missing and stolen. Did you cut your hair? Yeah, I did. All right, Monica's reaction coming up right now. Go look at the car. And what do you think of the car? You have a look inside. Oh, oh my god! And look. Oh my god! Qué terrible! Monica's reaction to the car. Oh, you feel me now? Oh my god! 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 Oh my what do you have to say to the people about this job? What do you have to say about this? No, that's not good enough. What else do you have to say? What would you do? You just broke the, the window, one window, and take what they want to take, not destroy the whole thing, man. Well, they took what they wanted to take, my CD player. It doesn't even work. Yeah, but look at how they left everything. Monica, the thieves, not interior designers. <laughs> they just no, want to get it over and done with. They just want to get it over and done with. They have to break things and that. And that. The thieves, not interior designers. Why did they have to they really, they break all that? The thieves, not interior designers. 
Yeah. That's stupid. Because... That's three times I said that joke. It only works once. Ah, y qué pasó con el ladrón? Tráemelo. Take a look at her. She's very, very pretty. Turn around, Jenny. You got something stuck to your back, if I'm correct. Wait. It's here somewhere. Oh my God, she's got the stick of the jumper. Wow. Good one. Shake my hand. You're the best. Okay, final chapter in our story. I finally got my card done. They done the quote, which means I have to bring it back tomorrow. There's Jenny and Monica there. Uh, I have to bring it back tomorrow, and apparently they're going to tell me, yep, fine, we're going to replace everything. Whoever watches this is going to get so cold. No, not really, because this is my life story, and my life story is always interesting, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Jenny's dad's reaction to the car being stolen. Mira por la otra ventana. This is the reaction of Jenny's dad. Okay. Ah, le rompieron el vidrio. Sí, también le sac me sacaron, le arrancaron eso. The reaction. O sea, es que usted no lo ha tocado nada, es decir, lo anda. La, la policía le agarró fingerprints. Ah, sí, para claro. ver quién, quién era. Uh -huh. Yeah, Oh, yeah. You don't listen. You should listen. You should stay home, man. Right? But now nah, you wanna go home. Look at what's happened to your car. <laughs> Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> you stole the car, man. No, cuando lo van a arreglar? Arreglar? Mañana. Mañana tendría que encontrar. Ahora fue la chasta de peace. Y después cuando encuentro un chasta de peace tengo que dar una firma. And then they fix my car. Jenny, my slave, cooking for me. Jenny, my slave. <coughs> slave girl, cook good for me, okay? Okay. <laughs> Give me a glass of water or a drink. Do I have slave written on my hip? Yes, you do. No, no, no. Niño! Está fijando. No, este. Casi todos ellos terminan en la cárcel. Okay. Ah, pues ella llega a ser como de la presidente de, de todos los cafeteros de los cafeteros Exacto. y llega alto y ella saca adelante la, la, la finca pero ella no es hija de ese señor no, no, sí. no. ellos fueron muy amigos la mamá de ella con el señor pero amigos amigos pero ella no es hija de ah. I've just been to the garage where I dropped off my car and they fixed it and guess what they fixed the doors, they fixed the roof, they fixed the light at the back which had a big hole in it. They replaced my four hubcaps and I got a brand new CD player which was better than the first one because basically the first one didn't work. So how's that, eh? When I get home to Jenny's house, which is where I'm going now, I'm going to actually get out of the car and show you what they did to my car. It's really mad because they fixed everything, every scratch, every glitter that was coming off, every paint job, everything. They fixed everything. Don't you get it? I'm trying to tell you. They fixed the whole car. One hubcap. Two hubcaps, a full front-off shot of the car, three hubcaps, and four hubcaps. They fixed up my whole car. Brand new shining. This was broken, they fixed that, they fixed that, they fixed that, they fixed that. Now we're going to open the car door for Jenny, and we're going to go around the other side. And check this out. My brand new stinking removable drive. Look at this, you press this thing that says 
release and I can now take this but yeah and break it in the God, way five seconds and I'm already doing stuff ups look Johnny just like yours look at this and if you're smart enough and you know how to play Legos you can click it on like a Lego set and not only that but when you grab the key and you put it in the slot the car starts oh really and check this out we've got full-on heavy-duty metal how do you turn this on? Hi. So I said if it's from God, then why he said that he'll buy you the What else did they fix? Oh, this was broken, remember? They fixed that. This, there was a crack here. What else? This is down now. They used to be going tick, tick, tick. And they gave me this thingy here. I don't know what that is, a, a scary monster sort of thing. Uh, they gave me that. Yeah, so it's pretty brand new now. It's pretty schmick. And look, it works. It works again, look. The only thing is to get it upside down, that sucks. Damn, I'm gonna have to get a new steering wheel. Yes, and they painted the whole car. Check out the roof, man. Shiny as a butterfly. Look at it, man, I got a brand new car. A 1.6 centimeter car. That's my wife, Jenny. She's gonna get the mail and the none, because she's not that popular. Here, Let's get a shot of us walking together, like husband and wife. Mm. These are the birds, they yeah. the pain in the butt dog. They nearly got killed. They nearly got killed because they were fixing the glass and dogs came in and they blah, 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 blah. Long story, I'll tell you again some other time.